Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. G'day Tiger fans, welcome to Inside Tigerland, proudly presented to you by Metro Solar. It's school holidays and we've got hundreds of kids who've come down to Punt Road Oval to be involved in Brando's Buddies. We're going to get around to a few of the players but also a few of the kids and ask them who their favourite player is and why. It's your day, Brando's Buddies. You've got 700 of them, so you've got more buddies here than what you do at the footy club. Now, this is in your contract, so in other words, we are helping you make money. Yeah, you guys are. Thanks for that. It's just awesome that the kids can come out here today. Obviously, the last one, it got rained out, so there's probably a lot more here than expected, but it's, uh, it's good to see a couple of number fives on the, the backs of the little kids here. Well, I haven't seen too many, but let's talk about the day. There's about... No 25. Excuse me, there's a couple of 25s running around, but I'm not sure if they're mine or Brendan Gale's. All right, Tigers fans, I'm here with young Ollie. Ollie, this is, uh, how many Brando Buddies clinics have you been to? Is this your first one? My second one. Your second one. Now, who's your favourite player? Brandon Ellis. Brandon Ellis. You've got a similar sort of haircut to him. What about, what number have you got on your back, mate? Turn around. We've got the number five. I reckon a little two in front of that would look all right. You can have the same number as me. What do you think? No. Ah, oh, come on. Well, Tiggs fans, we're going to get over to some q and I see Chris Newman in there. So I'm going to see if one of the young kids wants to ask Chrissy a question. Let's go over and see. I think that really hairy kid at the back has got a question. Yes. Yes, oh, mate. Yeah, Luke has got a question. How old are you, Chris Newman? Oh, that is a great question. Did you hear that, Chris? I'll no, ask. Sorry. I said, he asked, how old are you, Chris? Okay. Has anyone ever seen a man so hairy in, his, in your life? That was not the question, Chris. He is, he is not the team mascot. He's not a mascot. He's a player. What have we got in store for the young kids today, mate? Oh, mate, the best uh, probably drill that we've, uh, we could come up with, handballing. KB's favourite. Oh, very nice. Nathan Gordon will be right at home, probably on the same level here. <laughs> yeah, very much on the same level. He's, uh, he's actually really come out of his comfort zone here and started to show a bit of leadership amongst the, uh, the young guys here and uh, keep them on their toes. It's probably the probably the highest paid forward line in the competition. We've got Rewalt, Delidio, Martin goes through there, Cochin, Edwards, Vickery. Um, how do we fit using the salary cap? That's what I want to know. Now, down the other end, we've got Ranchi. That's about it. Yeah, it's an interesting one. As, as you said, 90% of that cap's taken up by Delidio and and, uh, and Rewald. Certainly not myself and Ben Griffiths. We uh, we play for free, mate. We just play for the love. Just, just play for pittance? No, look, we just want to be out there, mate. All right, I'm here with young cub, Alex. Who's your favourite player, Alex? Um, Kane. Who? Kane. Kane Lambert? Is it really? Do you know Kane? Yeah. How, how do you know Kane? I don't know. You'd feel yeah. right at home here, wouldn't you? Oh, what do you mean, mate? Well, oh, on the same level. Level as what? As Brandon? His uh, hair? No, as the kids. Like oh, the kids. Are that what IQ you're level. About, mate. A few laughs back home, uh, hopefully, mate. But none here. <laughs> now, you can keep yourself very lucky after the weekend. Yes, I am, mate. I uh, actually sent uh, Kieran Jack a message on the Monday. It was actually his birthday, so I was lucky. I was very lucky to get off. It was a uh, yeah, pretty, pretty. Um, but it looked pretty bad on Vision. Oh, you know Kieran Jack, do you? Oh, we used to play with Kieran. So. Oh, how's that? <laughs> oh, we've got another question, Chris. Oh, geez, that's a coincidence. Troy. The question was, how come you're still playing AFL when you're 40? <laughs> oh, geez. Um, 33. Um, I've played for so long because I'm so good. Now, <laughs> yeah, what about you? You've been in some really good form of late. You've yeah, finally got your body right. A part of probably the best back seven in the league at the moment. Uh, we've just had Rancy re-sign. What, how's that sort of, the morale of the group at the moment, especially that group? It's, it's pretty good at the moment, isn't it? Oh, look, I think it helps when you just have outstanding leaders down there. Um, Troy Ta Chaplin is one, uh, you know, just to, at the top of the rank. He's just all-Australian uh, form. He's uh, Jack Dye, he should be Jack Dye medalist. Possible Coleman, I think, in, you know, in, in, in my opinion, maybe even a Norm Smith. But look, it, it really helps when you're learning from the best of the best down there, and, and that's really helped me as a player, I think. Yeah, look, I tend to agree. Well, Tiggs fans, I'm here with Tamilla. Now, it's great to see so many girls running around and having a kick of the footy. Who's your favourite player at the footy club? Um, Jack, really well. Why Jack? Because he scores so many goals. You like kicking goals yourself? Yes. Now, do you play football on the weekend? No. No, but you're, you love coming to the clinics like Brando's buddies and having a kick with the boys and girls? Yeah. Oh, good job. Now, you said... 
say soccer. Well, you'd be a real... Ivan Maric, is a, he loves his soccer. Did you see his soccer goal on the weekend against Sydney? Yes. What did you think of it? Good. Good. Did you get up and, and celebrate? No. No? <laughs> Guys, I'm here with cult hero, Basha Hooley. What are we doing today with the, the kids in the background here? What have we got going on? Uh, we've got young Matty Thomas uh, running the show. He decided to change change up the uh, the game and we're playing uh, dodgeball or something. Dodgeball. Yeah, Poison ball, is it? Poison ball. So, uh, no injuries yet? We've had a couple. <laughs> we've had a couple. A few tears. Now, what about you at the moment? It's it's an important month for you. You're going through Ramadan. Can you just explain to a few of the supporters out there what you actually do? Because for us as players, it's a bit of an eye-opener um, because of what you have to do. But it also takes a fair bit of discipline as well, doesn't it? It definitely does. Obviously, being out here with with the kids is obviously something I'm really passionate about, but um, at the same time I'm fasting and I'm starting to lose a little bit of concentration to be quiet. The sausage sizzle in the background is not helping, is it? Does it? Well, Tiggs fans, he's okay. Shedder, should you be doing this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm uh, a bit phased out at the moment, so maybe I should go inside. Surely this is one day where you use the concussion as an excuse. Well, I don't know, put me on the bump bags as well, so I reckon it's a bit of training for me. <laughs> so you reckon Burgie and Dimmer have deliberately done this? Yeah, it's a part of my training today. Now, is it true, now, word's starting to get around and hopefully the AFL don't watch this, but uh, is it true that you thought you were actually playing against South Melbourne at the MCG the other night? <laughs> well, I don't know, I reckon Nipper Gordon was out there, so I reckon I, was the le I wasn't the least worst on the ground. <laughs> now, who, other, apart from Kane Lambert, who else do you like? Something. That was Troy Chaplin for those that didn't hear it at home. Good boy, Alex. Lovely to meet you. Have a good day. Well, Tiger fans, thanks once again for joining us on Inside Tigerland. Got to get back now to teach the kids how to kick some goals. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon.